Welcome to another week here at Tutorial Ruin. This week we're working on framing the shower stall and bathtub in the kids' bathroom.
it's not like a huge space, but it's also not too tiny. And I think we just want to make sure that the tile and stuff we do won't close it in more, you know. So here you can see where we framed up our shower. We're going to have a rainfall shower head and then we will also have a wall mounted shower head on this wall here. And then the next thing we have to do is frame up the tub here which is going to be an undermount um, drop in tub and we'll put some nice tile around it when we finish it.
case you guys are wondering what I just marked, I basically am figuring out if we want to center the bathtub based on the window or if we want to center it in the opening or potentially even push it all the way over to the toilet wall so that we have a little extra shelf on this side. But I think uh, Julia and I talked about it and having somewhat a shelf on both sides is, is good. So centering on the window seems to be potentially better because then you're sitting there and it, it seems it, it might look better if we center it on the window itself. So what that means for us is basically we would have a ledge over here of 13 inches and then a ledge of 9 inches over here. It's Sunday and we made a pretty good find on Facebook this week, which was marble tiles. We will probably use them in one of our bathrooms. Not sure if we have enough to do the big bathroom with it for the floor, but it will be at least enough for one of the smaller bathrooms or one of the showers. So I'm very excited about that. It was decent price. It wasn't like the greatest deal or anything, but it's a decent price and it's definitely more period correct to use tile that is made out of marble. We definitely want to try to find more marble. We don't want to buy always brand new. We might want to uh, recycle some existing marble somewhere. So we always on the lookout for finds like this. It is not a Carrera marble or anything. It's just a an off-white. Has like a pinkish tone to it. Um, a lot of silverish gray. spots in it. It even has potentially some quartz uh, pockets in it. You can tell it has some clear white sparkly se uh, sections. So I think it will make a nice floor in the bathroom. Here have a close up, better shot maybe. Here you can tell this is what we found. Uh, unfortunately it was stored outside so it has a little bit of water damage and there is, um, especially on the second row there, and the, four, the, the row in the back there, there's some broken tiles with it, and some of the corners are chipped, but we knew that when we bought it, and I think we have enough to definitely do one of the smaller bathrooms with it. So here's the hole that we made on the marble tiles. I think there's somewhere around 150 to 200 tiles. About 120 of them are in really good shape or decent shape that they can be used. And the rest have little corners broken or even a crack through the middle. And then obviously you can see on the right side here, there is a few tiles that have been already broken beforehand. I took them anyways, just in case. I needed a small little piece for a corner somewhere. I think that's it for this week. Thanks again for watching and I hope you guys all have a great week, rest of this week or week. A few people have told me that they are not getting their notifications from YouTube when we are uploading a video. Well, normally we upload a video every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern or 8 p.m. Central European time. But um, I don't have control over uh, YouTube itself, so I don't know when you uh, that if YouTube sends out the notification or when. Normally, I have been getting them within about five minutes of the video going live. And keep in mind, you have to have the settings correctly set up on either the app that you're using, or um, also make sure to press the bell button because if you don't press the bell button, it just means you're subscribed and you do not get notifications. So always make sure to press the little bell button and turn all, all notifications on from the YouTube app on your phone. Thanks. 
See you guys next week. Bye.